Hi everyone. There are many strange, rare, and outright unique animals on our planet, but snakes are definitely in a league of their own. They can be gigantic or small, poisonous, venomous or harmless, bright or almost invisible. And he will disappear. They can even live underwater and underground, and some of them can even fly. To infinity and beyond! Oh. Nature is certainly full of wonders after all. Today we'll tell you about snakes and their mind-blowing abilities. Let's get it on. The Hognose Snake When it comes to survival, anything goes. And the natural selection proves this point. Short long, you still have a chance. I'll suck the poison out. Oh, sweet kisser. <laughs> Many animals try to trick their predators, and the hognosed snake is no exception. This species is endemic to North America, but it can also be found in Canada and in the eastern and central Asians of the USA. The hognosed snake prefers to live in dry spots at the sand dunes. This snake looks unusual and even somewhat ridiculous. Its head seems to be flattened, like in some kind of cartoon. Its bite is not lethal, though, for humans or other large creatures. So, in order to survive, it had to learn a couple of tricks. When in danger, it raises its head off the ground like a cobra and sometimes pretends to strike. If this fails to scare off a predator though, it would roll onto its back and play dead, letting its tongue hang out of its mouth. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. This performance is Oscar worthy for sure. Thank you all for this amazing award tonight. I do not take tonight for granted. Thank you so very much. It'd play dead for a couple of minutes and then carefully peek around. If the threat is still there, the snake keeps on pretending. If the predator goes away, it resurrects itself. But I don't think you could expose it. Even if you raise this scale actress from the ground, it'll make no moves at all. It would look like as if you're holding a hose or something. And if you roll the snake upright while in this state, it'll simply roll back, as if insisting it's really dead. Well, we're convinced. I am dead inside. The Flying Snakes Here we go! If you're scared of snakes, you might be relieved that despite being relatively fast, crawling is the only way they can get around. However, turns out there are also flying snakes on our planet, and we're not referring to some horror movies or nightmares. These creatures live in South and Southeast Asia. Their official name is the Chrysopelia. In order to glide, the snake reaches the end of a branch and then continues moving until its tail dangles from the end of the branch. It then makes a J-shaped bend. Once it selects the direction, it pushes off from the tree branch, making side-to-side -side movements as it glides. One can say it actually crawls mid-air, but the important thing is it actually works. During the gliding, the body of the snake gets really flat, sucking in its abdomen and flaring out its ribs to achieve good aerodynamic properties. It really does fly, and not simply fall after dropping from the branch. And don't even hope that these snakes are harmless. Their diet includes frogs, tree lizards, birds, and small mammals. They paralyze their prey with their venom. Just imagine walking in the jungles and seeing this venomous one-meter-long snake coming onto you from above. Well, the toxin itself is not harmful for humans, but still. By the way, despite numerous studies, scientists still have no clue how and why these snakes go airborne. Most most likely, they do it in order to escape predators, cover long distances, and catch their prey. But the scientists believe there's more to discover here. The Common Egg Eater could you eat eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? The common egg eater certainly can, and sees no problem in that. This snake can be found throughout the African subcontinent, stretching to Senegal and Sudan in the north, and the Republic of South Africa in the south. They live in sub-desert regions and closed canopy forests. They are largely ground-dwelling, though they can also climb trees as well. When threatened, they try to hide in the deep tree roots or in a hollow tree. They can grow more than a meter long and have almost no teeth, 
teeth, let alone venomous fangs. They have poor eyesight, but that's compensated by a keen sense of smell and touch. Also, eggs make for an excellent prey. They don't usually run away or fight back. Using their forked tongue and special ridges on the mouth, the common egg eaters easily locate bird nests and swallow the eggs. They don't care for any other food. Even the most delicious frog won't be of any interest to these snakes. Over the long years, the common egg eaters have evolved to adapt their digestion to this diet. The bones forming the skull and the lower jaw of the snake are held together very loosely, enabling the animal to fit the entire egg with a shell into its mouth. Their neck is extremely flexible, allowing the snake to get its gums around food that's much larger than its head. Special vertebrae with long downward extensions help saw through the shell. Once the shell has collapsed, the contents are swallowed and the shell is simply regurgitated. A tentacled snake this aquatic snake, native to Southeast Asia, deserves a place in today's video because of its unusual looks. It has flattened twin tentacles on the front of its head, covered in small scales. Also, the scientists from Vanderbilt University discovered this snake uses a very unusual fish catching technique. Usually, the predators try to predict what the prey would do next and catch it at the right time, closely following its every move. However, a tentacle snake turns the fish's defense against it. It catches its prey by practically luring the fish into its jaw. How is that possible? Turns out a tentacle snake is a master strategist. It relies on ambush, anchoring its tail and twisting the front of its body into a distinctive J shape, and waits motionlessly for a fish to swim past. When it strikes, it does it so fast that the human eye can't detect it, so we can only observe it in slow motion. It's a wonder the snake can match the speed of the fish, which is supposed to react much quicker. But the snake has a way of tipping the odds in its favor. It faints. As the fish approaches, it ripples its body towards it, urging the prey to swim in the opposite direction, straight towards the snake's head. The snake anticipates this and executes a predictive strike. The fish can't dodge it because it acts on reflexes, and so it gets right into the snake's jaws. Pseudocerastes Unlike most snakes, Pseudocerastes are a relatively new species discovered and described in 2006. They can only be found in two places, in Ilam and the Kermanshah provinces. They usually hide in rocks or lying in wait in low-growing shrubs not far from their lairs. The first encounter with these species surprised the scientists. There was a spider on the tail of the snake. It had a weird shape, but it was definitely a spider. Turns out these snakes wave their tail around to lure insectivorous birds within striking range. At first, the scientists thought they'd encounter just another one of the Persian horned vipers with an unusual tail tip. Nature works in mysterious ways, after all. But soon they realized that this was an entire new genus of snakes. The scientists watched the birds peck at the lure, heading straight to the predator's mouth. Pseudocerastes hunting technique is somewhat similar to the anglers, the fish that uses a small luminous lure to catch prey. Aside from a peculiar tail, these snakes also have a horn-like projections, which are located right above their eyes and covered with small scales. These horns make the snakes look like miniature dragons without legs. Attractaspis this small and seemingly harmless snake from Africa is immensely dangerous for a human. Its body length rarely exceeds 70 centimeters. The snake spends most of the time digging holes underground. It feeds on rodents and has a couple of venomous fangs, which can protrude from the mouth. The snake doesn't even have to open it. This evolutionary trait has been developed over a long time. The animals spend the majority of its time in constricted underground space, where it can't really open its mouth without risking to clog it with soil. The fangs are also also pretty flexible and can move separately in different directions. This makes it easier for the snake to swallow its prey. Psst. 
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 